Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. I've got myself some of this uh, lavendery colour. Just realised I'm wearing my fleece. <laughs> I just nipped out to get my washing in before it rains again. And luckily uh, it hasn't. So I just made it. <laughs> this I'm using, it's a little bit of red and a little bit of ultramarine blue and white and uh, I'm going to uh, start putting in a bit of a sky which we can then use to uh, put a mountain in front of <laughs> so this is a painting idea I developed ages ago and I did paint it in oils and uh, but I didn't feel like I quite caught the atmosphere at the time I got you see the <laughs> it's a funny thing is painting sometimes I can paint something and I'm really happy with it and sometimes I just have that feeling that I just missed what I wanted and uh, you get that Painter's disappointment. It's <laughs> got a bit of a cloud in there. I'm letting this mix together because I don't want it to be too bright, to be honest. Just let it mix a little bit. I might throw a bit of brown in it. Good idea. Good idea. Turn it down a bit that way. Yeah, yeah, and I just felt like I, I missed a little bit of the atmosphere that I could have created in the painting, and it was it made the painting to me, just to me, a little bit lacking of something. <laughs> Let's just blend this together a bit. I was going to be like clouds, but yeah, quite like that actually. Did need a bit of brown in my colour, and then what I can do is I can bit of a reddish colour into this area, bit of blue. Deepen that colour a bit, and then here as well. Yeah, and we're going to have a mountain, so I'm going to throw in. I'll show you, this is my mix. <laughs> and now all my paints are dry. I'm not going to put any more fresh paint out. I'm just using water to remix them, reactivate them. Except the white, I did blob some white on there. So you just reactivate them with water, because they are watercolours. Some of them are watercolours, some of them are gouache. The majority of them are gouache actually on there. A couple of yellows are watercolours. And they all work the same way, it's just uh, gouache has a bit of chalk in it. So you can uh, see them a bit more because of their opaque nature. But you can use opaque colours like white or whatever to put in your watercolor mix it together and then you're making like a, a hybrid gouache <laughs> which works as well whatever you want to do there's so many different ways to do things isn't there we all change what we learn we learn a way of doing something and then <clears throat> Then I find, after you've done it a bit, you come up with your own way of doing it. Maybe better, maybe worse. <laughs> but as long as you get results. As long as it looks like something at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. 
And also, if you're painting for fun, and most of the time, well, actually all the time, that's really what I'm doing. I'm doing it for fun. I do it as a, uh, a fun thing to do to relax. After you've, uh, after, after I've been to work or something like a, a hobby that I can relax to and enjoy myself. And then uh, if you manage to do something not bad, <laughs> maybe you can uh, sell it to somebody. And then uh, you can use your earnings to get some more paints and keep it going, keep the hobby going. There's always somebody that will buy your painting. You just have to uh, <laughs> convince them. <laughs> uh, I'm only joking. Think pain. Painting sales is a tricky thing. It really is. I remember when I was uh, doing a. Uh, I used to do stalls a lot, um, craft stalls and things, and uh, people, other artists would come round and look at what you're, what you've done, and sort of compare their own work to it. And I remember one, this one, one guy, <laughs> he had his paintings. I, I did actually recognise some of his paintings that he'd done. I knew they were copies of other people. Not that that matters really. I mean, most, a lot of art is copied, isn't it? Even uh, the masters copied each other. <laughs> so, but anyway. I'm liking this mountain, actually. Quite like the shape of what's going on in this one. So actually, yeah, this one might work out quite good. Yeah, so anyway... <laughs> surprising myself here <laughs> it's coming out pretty good better than I thought it would anyway I'm going to block that bit up there just a little bit annoying there yeah and I, I had my paintings out and uh, I was doing a little bit of teaching as well as and uh, doing the old <laughs> The old wet on wet approach, which is a fun one to teach actually, because you do get um, results quite quickly. Where some ways of painting, you don't really get the results as quick as you want. <laughs> Can you imagine doing portrait, teaching people portraits? I can't imagine teaching that. I know people do, but it's just one of those things you just got to practice to get any anywhere I think well that's for me it's been like that anyway maybe there's some great teachers out there they could have showed me some stuff and I could have been the best <laughs> I could have been much better than I am never mind I'm happy with the uh, the way my progress has gone over the time even though you know it takes a long time but you just keep plodding on I'm going off the subject of what I was trying to talk about <laughs> selling the old selling yeah there was a <laughs> yeah this chap came over and he had a look at my paintings and I says oh are you all right are you interested in something <laughs> I knew he was one of the stall people and he was like oh I'm just looking at the competition and uh and I thought, hmm, interesting. And I thought, I'll go and have a look at the competition then as well. And then uh, I'll compare paintings and see, we, see uh, if he sells any and see if I sell any in the end. And I went and had a look at his paintings and they were really good. Oil, oil paintings. Um, very good paintings. But I recognised them from books that I've had. <laughs> so he'd uh, 
like used books and things to uh, make his paintings. Just put in a castle here. Just put in the dark parts in. And uh, well, at the end of the day, I managed to make a few sales. And uh, unfortunately, he didn't. And afterwards, I couldn't work out why his didn't sell and mine did. And then I realized it was color. The paintings that he'd done were dull kind of paintings and sort of Victorian almost looking. And I know which ones he'd used from a book. And uh, where mine that I sold were quite colorful and bright. And, uh, and it made me think then, I was like, some people buy their paintings to match probably their decor, or they just liked the, uh, the image idea. But I think mainly it was the color because uh, that was the only real difference other than his painting skill was better than mine. <laughs> the difference between mine and his was color. And uh, I think that's an important lesson for me was that color is an important part of painting. Like I didn't already know that. <laughs> so what did I learn? Well, I can't remember. I didn't really learn anything, no. <laughs> no, I, I, did, I did learn that color is important. Using it. Because a lot of the old paintings did actually have colour in them. It's just they faded, haven't they? So a lot of the ones we copy... Those wannabes, we copy them thinking this is how that they are, but actually they're pigments they've used, like they're glitter and crimson or... whatever else that they used. The pigments have in fact uh, worn away and the trees you've done that are nice, boring brown. <laughs> Should have been um, these beautiful greens and reds. And it's because the pigments have faded away that we've copied them in the wrong colors. And that happens quite a lot. Because we don't realize that the pigments do fade away and disappear never to be seen again <laughs> I'm enjoying this painting I have to say I'm enjoying this just blocking it in having fun some paintings are like that aren't they you just you just enjoy it straight away like this one for me I'm going to uh, atmosphere that out. Atmosphere that out. There we go. Now I actually had a bridge here. Because I uh, created some dips. Went down there. And then they connected up to a bridge. Here, might as well put it in, don't I? Because <clears throat> if we get all this in, and then we can start playing with the colours and things. I'm gonna get some colour down here. Speaking of colour, Let it kind of disappear there, I think. Um, just 
use my finger just to soften that. Okay. Got some like mist there. And there, yeah. That might help actually to bring this castle forward to have a bit of light there. Um, I am going to put a light on that castle actually. Um, some bit of an, a glow, an orange glow or something to hit like the part of the castle there. But then I want to light the bridge up as well, so. Hmm, it's going to be a bit tricky because I've got the mountain. So I've got to make a decision there. <laughs> make a decision. Do I do it like an early sun that's going to hit the side of this um, castle and there's maybe the side of this and maybe the side of that? Or do I do... Uh, Something else. Hmm. So I'm just going to get some red, blue, and brown on my brush. And we'll stick this bridge in because that's what we wanted to do. Um, I was going to have a path that goes like that down there. And then it sort of goes under the bridge and back there. Vanishes <laughs> into the mist. So we've got a log bridge there. I like these arched bridges as well. I do really like them. I think they work really well in paintings. You do get these type of bridges though on the uh, old English stately homes and old English castles as well. You do get them. It was a design used quite a lot. Um, it's a shame that bridge looks a bit like a dinosaur though. Uh, we're going to have to change that. <laughs> we could have the neck over there. <laughs> I know why it's uh, looking a bit like a diplodocious. It's because of the uh, uh, the angle. That wants to be about there. That could be right like there. And then that one's uh, over the top of the path. And some dark underneath. Hmm, that's not too bad. Looks less like a diplodocious now. <laughs> you see, if I wanted to paint a dinosaur, it probably wouldn't work out. When you don't want to do one, this is what happens. <laughs> um. that coming out like that. Gonna need a bit of light in there just to show that. Okay, so I want now, now we've started to uh, develop something. 
I'm going to put some mist here as well. Bit of mist. Okay. Well, I've ever done that bit, never mind. Keep it keep things going. So we're thinking about the light now. We've got shapes. Now, are we going to have some light going? Burp. Zip. Hitting the mountain. Hitting the uh, part of the bridge. But then, I mean, the castle. But if it's this height, will it hit all this one side? And the bridge? And the mountain? Hmm. Well, we could always try it, couldn't we? I think I'm going to use a bit of a red. In fact, <clears throat> I've got some orange here. So if we get some orange and white. Maybe throw a bit of red in it. We can do like that evening warmth we can put it on so we'll see what happens anyway <laughs> what can go wrong eh <laughs> so i'm thinking the light the light would hit this and it's going to hit hit the side of this castle there Along there and down. Gonna get rid of some of it just to get that angle in there, and then uh, some light shapes there, and it hits one the back of that. Maybe it hits some of this. Hmm. <laughs> Not sure that it would actually, but it would hit this. the uh, the old the finger brush the other brush the secret brush mm -hmm. and then we'll put some on this as well so we've got it coming this way so yeah maybe it would hit some of these bits Okay, and uh, this side. I'll use my finger just to get rid of some of that on that bit. Okay, right. So it's quite, it's quite strong, isn't it? Quite powerful. Maybe it would, maybe over here there's like a mountain, a 
then what, what I could do, get another brush. Get some dark colour. And I could go take that away. sort of remove some of the the orange how do I like that maybe so there's, there's a mountain covering that part of the light but it sort of uh, breaks this because it isn't covering this part And we have a, uh, a happy uh, <laughs> bit of light hitting this bridge as well. It's just breaking the Luckily, it's uh, <laughs> broken into this area. Aren't we lucky? Um, maybe again, maybe again I could remove some. Maybe it's not quite, it's not getting that bit. All that, all there. hit a tree as well there. Uh, this colour. I do quite like it, it's a bit weird. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should have uh, I'm not sure about this tree anymore. Cause if that had it maybe maybe just the top part of that tree. Like that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now I need to think about the mountain because it's that orange light is gonna hit some of this. Well you think it would anyway.
something like that. Some orange in there. using a little bit of white just to oh no <laughs> uh... Gives that a bit a little bit more light. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, come back with a few detail. I think with this. So what I want. is on the areas that are not orange. I, I still want there to be a this light from above hitting some of the areas, so. Have this path that's going along here. So let's land here. So to have a bit of a misty sort of look to it actually, I didn't want it to uh, have too much of a strong in the water. I just want that to stay quite misty. So I might um, put in some windows. In this castle.
doings. And something like that. Have a look at that. It's kind of cool. I like it. Something different. Gonna get a little bit of lighter blue, blue and white. Just to get some of these. Blues. Hmm. Something like that. And I can make some changes with this bit here. Missed that away a bit. No, I can have a think about this. <laughs> so I quite like the orange on there. I'm not sure about this here, but never mind, we've done it now, so. Uh, this. Again, I'm a bit unsure about. I think if it hits that, it'll probably hit this as well. hit that and it would hit all up this side any uh, areas that's facing this way it's going to get isn't it so that probably would get hit that's in front of that Possible, maybe some areas there. Yeah, like we said, this would probably get 
quite orange. Just catching that top part. We're definitely uh, in that tree there. And then uh, it comes back and it hits that and that and that. So yeah, it definitely brings something different out on, on a painting though, doesn't that different colour? Definitely something different. I'm going to put a little bit of a uh, reflection in there. Go a bit darker. Something like that. Wow, well, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> I think um, it's definitely something, something in it. It's just a. Uh, what I really need to do is go where there's a bridge and a castle at this sort of time. <laughs> and then I'd really know if it looks like this. But I do quite like it. Just putting a bit of a redder colour just at that area where the orange comes. So you get like that. Sort of, you get in it, and you get it in photography. Sort of a warmness. Yeah, there we go. So this is a landscape using an imaginary sunset really imaginary sunset dark spot there it is darker but I don't want it to be too dark because then the eye goes straight to it <laughs> and don't want the eye to go there oh, that's a bit better Not quite as dark. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting. I think I'll uh, probably leave it there and then think about it. <laughs> Get get myself to a castle at sunset. See what it looks like. See if it looks anywhere near this.
Hmm. Then I want to get a little bit of the. Show that. Okay. Something like that. Well, it's definitely something different. <laughs> yeah. I'm not 100% convinced on my lighting setup, but I'm, uh, I've enjoyed myself. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. I will think about this idea, though. It's an idea to think about. But yeah, I think I'll call this one finished. Well, actually, yeah, I won't. I'll uh, put someone in it. <laughs> I'll have me. Because I need to uh, think about this a bit more. So I might as well paint myself in there. <laughs> Trying to work this out. I'm gonna maybe shall I go across the bridge? Or should I uh walk down here? I think I'll walk across the bridge first. Considering this <laughs> idea, probably get a little bit of the light on me actually. But my clothing is a little less reflective, so mainly on my face. Yeah, so I'm walking along there, having a look around, trying to work out the way this should be set up. <laughs> and then I'm going to walk down here as well and have a look around. Try and... Uh, and work this place out. <laughs> Thinking to myself, hmm, well if I have this place snowy instead, maybe that'll work it out better. Got a white t shirt on. Mm. I think I'll do. I don't think I'll uh, do too much else to that. Got me walking there and me walking there. <laughs> and, uh, just thinking about this one. 
So I think there is something in it. It's just I'm not sure if I caught it. I will uh, think about this. Think about early sunrises and how it should look. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching this one. And I will... There we go. And then I will see you at another one. Cheers. Bye.